Eighteen years ago, the most innovative and ambitious health care project in the history of South Africa was born, the Palo Pepa Health Train, also known as the Train of Hope. This train serves as a mobile hospital that provides health care to South African communities where health services and medical attention are otherwise unavailable. For me, especially the experience at Oswald, it's just been a humbling experience to, to meet with people, you know, from such and unfortunate conditions and uh, just the, the, the gratefulness and the, this appreciation they've shown toward us has been, I mean, just for me, life-changing. I won't forget the kind of the acts of, of appreciation they've shown. Palo Pepa means good, clean health, which is what the train has provided for over 500,000 patients since its launch. People arrive at four in the morning just to see the train pull into the station, and for many of them, it will be their first time seeing a doctor. Some people need to be given their first pair of glasses, have teeth pulled, need HIV testing, or have a medical problem and simply cannot afford their local health care. This is the only place in my experience that you can get so much exposure and you, you give back to the less privileged. And it's so rewarding, it's not the same as working in the private practice. I've worked for a private practice before, but the experience is just not the same. This is totally different. You, you, you feel the reward and once you get attached to the train, it's very difficult to... You become like attached, your whole body, soul, everything just becomes, it just becomes your other home. In order to serve the many disadvantaged communities throughout Africa, doctors and nurses live on the train for extended periods of time. In just 36 weeks, they serve an average 45,000 patients. In 2006, the Palo Pepa Health Train received a platinum award from Impamalelo Social Innovation Center, their most prestigious honor. The opportunity that the people have to come to the train and uh, see to their ailments. That's actually for me very wonderful. And uh, they are serving the nation in that way, people that can't afford it. Long after the train leaves the station, communities continue to benefit from its visit. People are taught how to prevent the spread of HIV and AIDS and are given basic medical skills to help themselves. Palo Peppa leaves behind the knowledge that no matter your situation, there is always hope.